Hello, I'm the Daily Data Logger. Every day I'm collecting data about the day-to-day -day life of a human specimen. I record this information onto these handy Daily Data Log Sheets. At the end of the day, the data I collect is collated into a series of 20 Daily Data Results. These are then emailed to the gallery. Each morning, this data is displayed through a wild variety of data visualisation methods on the Daily Data Display Wall. Data collecting is a full-time job, you know. It's hard work observing the specimen's every move. For a start, just look at all of these state-of-the-art data collecting devices I carry with me at all times on my utility belt. First things first, a notepad. Used to jot down the names of people spoken to and foods eaten and any bodily functions occurring when the log sheet is not to hand. Then, the beautiful chrome clicker counter used to keep an ongoing tally of gaseous emissions produced throughout the day. The Health Vitality Talking Pedometer NVP09 is worn at all times to keep an accurate record of the number of steps the specimen takes. The Digit UV Monitor and Atmospheric Thermometer is used to give a daily outside temperature and UV index reading. The Garmin eTrex GPS system is used to give the specimen's geographical coordinates. The alcohol breath tester AT988 is used daily to test whether the specimen is over the limit. The talking clinical thermometer HVT23 is used daily to take the specimen's body temperature. And finally, the electronic tally counter used to keep an ongoing tally of any sneezes occurring throughout the day. I'm now going to show you how and when I use all this equipment each day and exactly what information I need to record onto my daily data log sheet. First things first, every day I record the data log day. This is easy. This is just the number of days I've been collecting data for. It starts with one on the first log sheet and counts up by one every day data is collected. I then record today's date in the date recorded section and tomorrow's date in the date displayed section. This is when the data will be on display on the daily data display wall at the gallery. Easy. Now I must observe the specimen carefully. What time does it wake up? The exact moment that it gains consciousness. I record this here in the time woken up section. Find it easier to set an alarm clock so that this time becomes regular. What time does the specimen go to sleep? The moment it loses consciousness in the evening. I record this here in the time went to sleep section of the daily data log sheet. Now I've got a quick calculation to perform. The time the specimen woke up this morning minus the time the specimen went to sleep last night. I get that from yesterday's data log sheet to work out the estimated time the specimen spent sleeping. A quick warning here, if this reading's low, I must remember to be on alert around the specimen as it can become tetchy and sometimes lash out. Although the specimen needs to be monitored 24 hours a day, there are also three particular times throughout the day when specific measurements need to be taken. These three set measuring times are 1200 hours, 20 hundred hours and oh hundred hours. This is where my talking alarm clock comes in handy. It alerts me to each of these times of the day so that I can spring into data collecting action. It sounds like it's time for the first measuring session. It's 1200 hours so I need to complete the environmental conditions section of the log sheet. First of all, I must use the Garmin eTrex GPS system to get a reading for the specimen's latitudinal and longitudinal coordinates in decimal degrees. Then I must use the Digit UV monitor and atmospheric thermometer to take two readings. Firstly, in the shade, I must take the outside temperature closest to the specimen's location. I then move into the sunshine, if there is any, and I take the UV index reading. Pretty straightforward. Now comes the tricky part. I've got to take the specimen's body temperature. 
I must accost it and insert the talking clinical thermometer HVT23 into its mouth and make sure it remains in there for two minutes to get an accurate reading. Your body temperature is 36.9 degrees Celsius. Right, now it's time for the subjective data section where I make a daily review of how the specimen is feeling both personally and about the situation of the world. At 20 hundred hours each day, I get the specimen to give me a value from 1 to 10 to reflect its personal and global outlook. Normally I will make the specimen watch the evening news so that it can make a more informed decision about the state of the world. Is 24 hour surveillance, monitoring and measuring getting the specimen down? It's interesting to see what reading it gives for its personal outlook. The final measurements of the day take place at 100 hours, or if the specimen wishes to retire earlier, that's okay, I just make sure I note these measurements down before it nods off. Both of these come under the exercise and fitness section of the data log sheet. The specimen must wear the Health Vitality Talking Pedometer NVP09 all day long. Last thing at night, I take a reading of the pedometer of the number of steps it's walked, This sounds easy, but I have to keep a watchful eye on the specimen all day to make sure that it doesn't remove the pedometer at any time. There's one other measurement to be taken at 100 hours or before the specimen goes to bed. It's another tricky one. I must alcohol breath test the specimen to see if it's over the limit. Another warning here, if it looks likely that the specimen is over the limit, this reading can prove difficult to take. Sometimes I need to restrain the specimen and force it to exhale into the breath tester. To complete the exercise and fitness section, I must observe the specimen's fitness routine carefully. Did it go swimming? Did it go jogging or perform any other exercise? I then simply tick the boxes which apply to what it has achieved that day. The last things I must record are the ongoing data, things that can crop up at any time throughout the day. These are the bodily functions and the descriptive data sections of the log sheet. To record this information, I must remain on constant alert, monitoring the specimen's every move and utterance. It's hard work, believe me. Here, I mark all of the exact times of occurrence of the specimen's movements, both fluid and solid. And here, I keep an ongoing tally of the number of times the specimen sneezes or produces a gaseous emission. It's not all glamorous, this job, you know. Finally, as if I didn't have enough to cope with, I must keep up these two lists. Every time the specimen eats something, I must record it here. And every time the specimen speaks to someone, I either write their name down, if I know it, or I write the name of the place where the specimen spoke to them. A shop, for example. And that's it. The daily data log sheet is completed for another day.